Brett Weiss here at the National Video Game Museum in Frisco, Texas, opening April 2nd. Let's take a sneak peek inside. As you walk into the museum, you can see some very uh, artfully displayed consoles and monitors displaying commercials, video games, all that kind of good stuff, ads. It's on this side, and then we walk over here, and on the other side, you've got more of the same, very cool. Over here, we've got uh, dedicated video game consoles that play Pong and various other game systems. There's the original Odyssey, came out in 1972, designed by Ralph Baer. There is a Pong, full-size Pong arcade cab, came out in 1971, first commercially successful arcade game. There's Puppy Pong, very rare. The Brown Box Prototype, created by Ralph Baer, which eventually became the Magnavox Odyssey. And the console timeline. Over here you got some video game t-shirts, nice variety of those. Over here you've got a recreation of the old Parker Brothers ad that I used to see on comic books back in the day. And a complete collection of Activision games for the Atari 2600. Video game cereal, probably wouldn't advise eating it even back then. Homebrew games. Some rare box double enders for the Atari. Boxed handheld games. Back in the late 70s when I was a kid, I would uh, take these on car trips and to school, which I really wasn't supposed to do, at least to school anyway, but they were a good way to pass time. Especially on those long trips to Arkansas our family would take from Texas. And here's a showcase filled with some true rarities. Magical Chase. Great game for the Turbo Graphics, but most people can't play it. It's so dang expensive. Unless, of course, you just uh, play it through emulation. What we've got here is a typical 1980s male bedroom. Bedroom for males, not a male bedroom. And the early 80s living room, complete with an Intellivision, you got a laser disc player, and the old furniture style television. And let's walk into the arcade real quick, Pixel Dreams, which is a nice approximation of an early 80s arcade. Well, as you can see, the National Video Game Museum in Frisco, Texas is truly incredible. It's 10,000 square feet of video game greatness from floor to ceiling. If you're ever in the North Texas area, I highly recommend you go. Now, the video you just saw shows really just a, just a tiny fraction of what's in the, arc, in the museum. There's a fully playable 1980s arcade uh, with 40 machines, and it takes tokens just like back in the day. There's a 1980s uh, living room you can relax and play in television in. A 1980s bedroom that's that's just amazing. It's like a time warp. Uh, there are extremely rare games like the NWC Grey Cart, uh, Flintstone Surprise at Dinosaur Peak, Magical Chase, Complete in the Box. Just incredible. Like I said, the video just shows you a glimpse of what's there. Uh, you have to believe it to see it to believe it. It's just amazing. 
And like I said, if you're ever anywhere near North Texas, you gotta go. Uh, thank you, my name is Brett Weiss. Appreciate you watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.